Hey guys, Mike from BTR Budget Tech Reviews here and today I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial video on how I edit my videos guys. So if you guys have never watched my YouTube channel, uh, I've had YouTube for about five years already. I've been making videos uh, for this current channel since about 2013 and you know how I started in the industry or YouTube industry so to speak is when I started doing tech reviews I actually did it with my cell phone camera and again five years ago cell phone camera quality wasn't that great to begin with and now in 2018 you have cell phones shooting in 4k etc like that so right now currently I'm shooting with a Canon SL2 DSLR the little boom mic there so I have a hopefully better quality for this video as far as sound and and video goes than from what I had five years ago okay five years ago all that you would see in my video were these hands basically because I just did a lot of reviews with my hands I didn't want to show myself on the camera and it, that was something that didn't interest me at the time I guess because I didn't want to show my face because I was a little shy at the time and again I was still new to YouTube and how making videos worked so when I first started editing videos I used Windows Movie Maker Okay, Windows Movie Maker, again, this was back in 2013. I was probably using a way older version than what they have now, okay? So, again, I don't have the new version of Windows. Now, if you can see the background, I, I'm running a Mac. I'm using a MacBook Pro. So, I've, you know, over the years, I've come across softwares like Final Cut 7, Adobe Premiere C Pro CS6, uh, Adobe Premiere Creative Cloud Edition, and currently, I've been editing my videos a lot with iMovie, okay? Uh, now, a lot of you guys may not like iMovie because it's very basic, but it gets the job done in my opinion, especially if you're new to YouTube and you just want to get started on you know, making little quick edits. It's really not difficult and not, that's what I want to show you guys today. Something simple, how to put something together really quick. Again, iMovie is very basic and I'm going to go over the layout, guys. So again, let's jump into the tutorial. Alright guys, so this is Mike again from BTR Budget Tech Reviews here and we're gonna show you just a little tutorial on how to use iMovie if you're not familiar with it and again this is not something that you know I just thought of of you know a lot of people out there don't really know how to edit videos and you know if you're a beginning YouTube channel you want to know how to at least cut in basic clips and put add in music or whatever etc like that just to make things a little more interesting okay so again uh, you can see here this is my my desktop or whatever I have a split screens but I'm focusing on one screen here so I'm actually gonna go ahead and start iMovie uh, just to get this rolling guys so let me see if I can get it going for you really quick uh, so that we can uh, get the tutorial going now again I use a 2014 MacBook Pro this should be the latest version of uh, I, iMovie since I update all my software and again I'm just gonna drag iMovie over here so as you can see here I already have uh, basically a project that I was working on a little while ago uh, and let me just go ahead and actually make this a little bigger so that we can so that we can uh, you know get this going here but okay I want to try to move this in the background I'm gonna move this to the top left or the top right of the screen just so it's not in the way okay so again this is iMovie and you can still see me here hopefully we're gonna go ahead and this is what it, ha it looks like when it starts and right here you have a section where it lets you basically add media it gives you an area of your projects and then it gives you a theater which lets you uh, watch music or music or movies or whatever that you already created so again uh, I'm just gonna go to project area since this is a new project let's go ahead and create new okay go ahead and select a movie if you want to make a trailer you know it's it shows you how to follow a specific template again this is just basic cutting so I'm gonna go ahead and click movie okay okay so from here it'll be titled on top right here it says my movie too excuse me and right here it gives you a big option to select media so from there again another screen is gonna pop up it's gonna look all fancy or whatever uh, right here again I already have it kind of preset to to know where it's going so you can actually change this on top right here I have it sele selected to my external you can actually go into other memory cards also like right here I have a memory card of the intro of this video right right here where you can actually see me moving uh, but again this is, you know, I want to go to my external because this is where I have it. And let's let's go to can, where it says Canon SL2 footage right here on the screen. Okay, so I'm, you can see here it's already highlighted. I'm going to go ahead and click that, and I'm going to put import all. Okay, so again, I have a lot of, you know, images or whatever here from when I first bought my DSLR. So again, it's going to take a little bit to load, etc., like that. 
And, you know, I just want you guys to be aware that, you know, this is old stuff. I've had it already for a while. So, as you can see here, it gives you a preview of all the stuff that you have. So, again, I have pictures. I have footage. So, so right here, I'm actually going to drag. I'm going to drag something that I want here. Okay. So, again, I have a different selected clips or whatever. And I, 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 some of it's just pictures as well. So, you can actually use pictures and video again. But, of course, again, I'm going to use... Uh, Basically, I'm going to use video. So uh, right here, I'm going to drag this really quick. I'm going to select it, and I'm going to drag it down, okay, to the little timeline here, okay. So on the timeline, again, again you can see, right, if you press spacebar on your keyboard, it's actually going to play. So let's play it. All right, guys, this is my Canon DSLR SL2, and this is, again, shooting at 60 frames per second. So, okay, so let's stop that really quick. Let's say I wanted to detach the audio from that because, again, you can hear me talking in the background, etc., like that. But, again, I, maybe I want to add music to that clip instead, and I don't want to hear that nasty background, okay? So, first of all, I'm actually going to cut to where, you know, where basically I pan upwards. So, I'm going to cut it to about right here. So, I'm going to right-click, and you're going to click Split Clip, okay? So, once you split the clip it's actually going to delete it's gonna give you two little clips so this is the second half I'm gonna go ahead and delete that so you can actually put, press the delete button on your keyboard once it's highlighted and it's gone okay so to de detach the audio you're gonna right click it and you're gonna put detach audio okay once it does that the audio is gonna go down here so again, so once you select the audio you can actually you can do d two different things one you can delete it or you can actually lower the volume so right now it's at hundred percent if I were to lower it to 18% again, and if I were to play that back, you'll hear the difference right away. So again, you can actually tweak the volume, the audio, etc. So again, I'm going to delete that just because I don't want to hear that too much. Uh, but again, you know, this is just an example. So since this is a, you know, a moving object or whatever, I want to show you guys how to use slow motion real quick. So you kind of, you can kind of ignore all this up here and just see what I'm doing here. So again, I'm going to lower this just so you can see it and hopefully I'll edit the region here. But if you want to, you know, slow motion audio or or video, excuse me, we have an op you have several options up here on the right. So once again, your video is selected right here, you want to highlight the video. You have all these options right here. You can actually choose to improve the color quality. You can crop the video with this item. This one, it's just video stabilization, so if you're actually walking around with a camera, you can actually stabilize it a little more. It has its own uh, thing. Right here, again, you can you can mute the volume, or you can add or delete volume. You can raise it, etc. You can put noise reduction and equalizer, so if I wanted to, I can do that as well, so that the noise in the background won't hurt too much. And again, right here is where I want to go to, to the speed, okay? So speed, let's, if, once you click that, you're going to see right here on the top left, it's going to say normal. So right now, my speed is technically still normal. So if I were to play it back, again, it's, you know, playing normal. But again, if I want to, if I want to slow that down, you can actually put slow, fast, freeze frame, or custom. I'm going to put slow. So automatically, by default, this slows it down by 10%, okay? So you can actually see the difference when I'm playing it back here. Okay, so and again, this was shot in on 1080p at 60 frames per se per second. Okay, if you have a camera that shoots at a slow at a faster frame per second, right? Let's say you have a camera that shoots at 120 frames per second, it's going to be way better quality, guys. Okay, so right there, I, that's 10%. If I choose 25%, it's gonna it's gonna extend the clip even longer, and uh, of course, again, it's gonna slow it down. Okay, you see that? So if I want to actually slow it down even more, I can slow it down to 50%. Although, you know, if you slow it down to 50%, it's the, the quality might get different. So it really just depends. But you can see here, you know, and then, then there's an auto feature or whatever where it can slow it down to make it look to where it thinks it's going to look good, okay? But again, right now I just have it set to normal. So let's go to slow again, and I want to go to 50% again. Let's see, 25. So again... If it's if it's half the speed, it's not going to be that slow. You can see it there, near, near, near. But again, 10%. I don't know why it widens it out. So half the speed is not that slow. 25%. The numbers are kind of reversed if you think about it. 
So again, you know, if you want to slow something down by a lot, you 10% would be the best option, especially if you really want to get like a good close up of something. So let's slow it down to maybe 50%, and I'm actually gonna leave it like that, you know, just because to me it looks a little better. So from there, I'm actually gonna crop the screen, and I want to actually just highlight a certain section of the screen. So so crop to fill, okay? So you want to do that. So when you once you put crop to fill, it's you're gonna it's gonna allow you to select you know, minimize a small portion and I'm actually gonna put it right there on top, okay? So when I edit this, it's gonna just show that portion as long as this whole thing is selected. So so now you can see that that, that top portion of the video uh, is basically, you know, showing that the little top part of the water, you know, sprinklers or whatever that is, you can see it's in slow motion. So. So a video, again, is going to be really boring unless it has some type of music or whatever like that. So let's go ahead and import something really quick. Let's see if I can find a selection of music really quick. I'm actually going to scroll this to the right. And let me find a folder that allows me to add music. So, so I'm just going to do whatever. I don't know. I'm going to add the song Nimbus, okay? I'm going to actually drag it over. You can import it if you want, whatever. Uh, whatever is easier for you. You can drag it into the movie or the timeline okay so again you know I'm gonna drag the the music here and once once you drag it underneath the clip you you and press play it's gonna have music now so you check it out okay so again you know you know this is just an example but okay so let's say that you wanted to start that with just half the clip up to about right here and then you decide you want to split the clip again and then show the full frame of what the waterfall is really doing you can actually go back to the crop to fill again once it's selected and again you can just maximize it the entire way so it gets the whole screen now so let's let's maybe leave the uh, the stairs out in that area but again I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the top portion okay so so let's see Let's try it. Let's try it now. Let's see what it does. Okay, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, here we go. Let's start from the beginning. Okay. And then there you go. Okay, so pretty simple. And again, that that is the same frame. That is the same video clip. Okay, it's just that you're focusing on two different little portions. So if you guys are into close-ups or wide angles etc like that you know <clears throat> and you don't want to take a lot of different shots you can actually tweak that with just editing it okay so okay here's a here's a clip of me walking I think I'm walking let's see or is that just me taking a picture oh no that's not me walking hold on give me a second I know I took a pic of me walking here hold on let's see or you know what? we'll use this one of the of the the waterfall again but it's gonna be from the top portion so let's go ahead and detach the audio here again and you know, from this clip, it's gonna go from from here. So again, since so since this is regular speed, it's gonna kind of make it a little boring. So I do want to change the speed on that again, slow motion, or you can actually speed it up. So like, let's say for an instance, I wanna I wanna speed up the clip maybe about from right here, and then I wanna slow it down. So let's split the clip again. We can actually make it faster. So let's 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 make it a little faster so from right here and then it goes really quick and then we can actually slow this portion down so let's slow the second portion down and again we want to slow it down to maybe just fifty percent so that it's not you know too ugly so again let's replay that again okay so that you can see the difference and you can see the difference here And you can totally tell the difference when it, if you slow it down. Okay, guys, so that's basically my editing skills or my cheap quick trick editing skills. Okay, so let's say, for instance, I guess this will be my last tip if you want to add a transition. Again, iMovie has transitions. And then let me see if I can move this over. I'll move that over right there just so I can give you guys a better idea of what. A, tra a transition does okay so transition a transition is basically something that you can use in between clips okay a lot of people use basic cross dissolve so 
So in order to get it, again, you have options up here. You have My Media, you have Audio, so you can actually search different audio. You can add a title to your video. Again, that, that might be in a different tutorial. You can add a background if you want. Uh, again, I'm not a fan of that, so I don't really use this much, but you can. You can actually use a green screen as well uh, just to add something. You know, That way, if you plan to do some work uh, with you know visuals and stuff like that, you can actually add that. But let's go to transitions here. Okay. So a lot of people use cross blur. So so I'm going to actually put cross blur in between a transition here. So again, let's put it right in between these two clips. Okay, well actually, you know, I'm going to put it in between the waterfall and then the top portion of the waterfall. So you can see that it's there. So let's go back here and let's press play on the clip. Okay, so you can see what the transition does. So you see that quick, really? And the thing is, it's going to look a little wonky because I haven't, finalize the video and because it's running slow but you see that little blurriness there you go so that you know that that's there for a reason I, I'm a big fan of cross zoom also let me, let me go ahead and add in cross, cross zoom right here so let's see so you see that so again you know these are just little basic features of iMovie that you know I am a big fan of and you know it makes it a lot easier again I use Adobe Premiere also and I've used you know other versions of Final Cut as well, but again, editing for me on this is really quick, uh, just because you know I'm a fan of you know fast rendering and editing. So again, if this is helpful to you guys, please give this a thumbs up. I'm a big you know fan of helping people, and if this is going to help you, then please by all means you know try it out. This is again just a video tutorial on how to you know use iMovie really quick. Again, once you guys are completely done editing, it's very simple to export, okay? Let me see if I can show you guys on here. To export the video, and this is going to be my final portion of it, you're actually going to go to the top right of iMovie, and you're going to select this button right here where it says Share, and then from there, you're going to select File, okay? So from there to export, it's going to let you change the movie title. Let's just change this to, you know, Waterfall or whatever movie. And then it's going to give you the, this. You, it'll give you more descriptions here. You can change this again of the movie, tags, format, video, and audio. If you want, you can just put audio only. If you want to just have audio, video resolution. Again, since I shot in 10 six, at 1080 at 60 frames per second. If you want to down the quality, you can down down it to 720 or to 540p, just depending. I don't have a 4K camera, so I don't have. I don't know if iMovie supports 4K. Uh, but again, this is just my my video. Uh, once you select a quality, you can actually put high so that your so that your uh, file size is not that big. Right here, I'm clicking the file size. If you put high, your your file size will be under a gig usually, depending on the amount of minutes. But again, if you want this to look really good, you want to select Pro Res and look at how big the file size go to. So I'm probably not going to go to that because it's a four minute video. I'm just going to put high. Once you do that, you're just going to select next, and you're going to find a destination where you want to save it to. Again, I usually save to my external, and then you're going to click save. Okay, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to save this video. But again, guys, this is Mike from BTR Budget Tech Reviews. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and of course, please subscribe if you haven't already to my videos. Again, we'll see you guys next time. Okay, thanks.